And talk is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. Gentleman's recognized. Mr. Speaker, DHS Secretary Ali Mayorkas has repeatedly asserted, including in sworn testimony to multiple committees of this House, that the southern border is secure. This, of course, is a lie and not even a subtle one. We know the numbers. A stunning 4.1 million encounters since Inauguration Day when Joe Biden reversed the Trump administration's enforcement measures. In the same period, another one million known gotaways have entered the country while the Border Patrol has been overwhelmed, changing diapers and arranging for transportation for thousands of illegal crossings each day. So how do our Democratic colleagues react to this unprecedented illegal migration that they have unleashed? Do they call on the Biden administration to stop the releases? Do they call on the President to actually enforce U.S. immigration law or at least stop incentivizing this mass illegal migration? No. Instead, they produce this bill that readmits immigrant veterans who were later deported mainly for committing criminal offenses. This needs to be clearly understood. A non-citizen who joins the military promising to defend our country and instead commits crimes against the citizens of our country is subject to deportation, and rightly so. This bill adds a political advisory committee, handpicked by Mr. Mayorkas, that in effect can override our deportation laws, and it invites criminal offenders who've already been deported back into our country. And it presumes they're of good moral character despite their criminal offenses simply by producing a green card. This is astonishing. Let's be very clear that the vast majority of legal immigrants who enlist in our military do so because of patriotism toward our country, and they are exemplary citizens and exemplary members of our armed forces. In recognition of their service, we offer them special avenues for naturalization under the Immigration and Nationality Act. Uh, that is as it should be. About 3% of U.S. veterans today are foreign-born. Many have, been, uh, have chosen to become U.S. citizens. But that's not what this bill is about. This bill is about the bad apples who've been ordered deported for breaking our laws. Since its creation in 2002, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services have naturalized over 148,000 members of the U.S. military. If an alien service member or veteran is removed from this country, it's only after that alien has had their due process in immigration court and an immigration judge has issued a final order of removal. Alien service members and veterans are also afforded a special process upon encounter by immigrations and custom enforcement officials, under which, through a totality of the circumstances approach, uh, ICE agents determine whether arrest and placement and removal proceedings are the appropriate action to take. However, in this bill, the Democrats have decided that an advisory committee of people, chosen by Secretary Mayorkas, are better equipped to determine whether an alien's actions warrant removal than a trained ICE official. Yesterday at Rules Committee, the chair of the subcommittee even indicated that these random people chosen by the secretary uh, would be better than a trained immigration judge at determining whether an alien should be able to stay in the U.S. During the Judiciary Committee markup, my Republican colleagues offered an array of amendments aimed at ensuring alien service members, veterans, and their family members who committed serious crimes would not be able to benefit from the provisions in this bill that prevent removal and allow green cards to be issued. We tried to prevent individuals with convictions for things like drug trafficking, firearms trafficking, explosives trafficking, perjury, domestic violence, obstruction of justice, and even illegal voting from being able to benefit from the bill's provisions. But the Democrats rejected nearly all such amendments. They did reluctantly agree to exclude murderers, rapists, and child sex abusers as beneficiaries of this bill. I, I suppose we can claim some progress. But they didn't even bring themselves to accept an amendment to preclude aliens who have DUI convictions from benefiting over this bill. They decided that five DUIs is too many. So ridiculously, the bill allows aliens to have four DUI convictions and still benefit from this bill. Democrats in committee also opposed an amendment to ensure that alien veterans who benefit from the bill were honorably discharged from the military. 
Right now, as the bill stands, it only requires that the alien have been discharged under other than honorable conditions. Democrats also rejected a Republican amendment that would have given the victims of a crime committed by the alien service member a say in whether or not the alien should face immigration consequences. This bill once again lays bare the true objectives of the Democrats. First, ignore the 4.1 million illegal aliens encountered by Border Patrol and the 1 million gotaways as well. Blur the distinction between legal immigrants who have obeyed our laws and the millions of illegal immigrants that the Democrats are now happily allowing to stream into our country. And then introduce bills like this that blur the distinction between the many legal immigrants who have honorably served in our nation's armed forces uh, and the handful of bad apples who have broken our laws and been ordered deported for doing so. This is the woke insanity that grips the Democratic Party today. Thank God the voters have just broken their grip on the House of Representatives. I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman reserves, gentlewoman from California is recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, just a few notes.